On Thursday, October 27th, the Ministry of Health's Community Health Services Unit took to the streets in the fight against the mental health stigma. Whilst 10th October is recognized annually as World Mental Health Day, the entire month is used to raise awareness of the ongoing issues. This year's global campaign focused on ending stigma and discrimination against mental illness by choosing one's words carefully. Region 8's community mental health nurse Maria Charles Monrose says education is the solution to the problem. If we want to stop stigma, we have to stop it with education. So we went from castries, we stopped at Bexor and the Daito in Denry and in Miku Monripo, sharing information about mental health, mental illness, how persons can take care of themselves. So if they have good mental health, then physical health will be good. Health officials confirm the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic linger on in more ways than one. The loss of lives and livelihoods put a strain on the mental health of the global population. Mental health psychiatric nurse practitioner Alicia Sajis says the goal is to increase the numbers for persons seeking assistance with mental illness. In recent times, since the COVID pandemic, we have seen a rise in mental health issues. We have had so much loss, loss of our social space, loss of our, um, our livelihoods, loss of our income loss of loss of persons we have had a lot of loss and a lot of um, uncertainty so you find these things bring on mental health issues and I, back then uh, one of the things that Paolo said that the next crisis coming out of, of um, the COVID pandemic would be a mental health issues the day's activities included free mental status examinations psychotherapy blood pressure and diabetes checks nurse Monroe says good mental health plays a major factor in physical health. Without having good mental health, your body will not function properly. So we want you to know that the services are available out there. If you need, if you having problems at home, relationship issues, domestic violence, if you suffer the trauma, you, your child, your family, come out, get the help. Health officials say they are overwhelmed with persons coming in for treatment and admissions for complications of mental illness. The public is advised to seek treatment and care when necessary. Reporting for the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I'm Sant Justin.